Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today we want to have a brief look at the new release of Solace. And specifically, we are going to look at the Plasma build because this is the first time Solace has done a Plasma build. If you guys would like, I'll also do a video on the uh, Budgie build as well. I already have a virtual machine in that. I've already poked around on it here. But uh, let's go ahead first and we will have a look at the... Uh, release notes here. So uh, this is again Solace 4.1 called Solitude, excuse me, Fortitude. Whoa, Fortitude, Solitude, hey, they all end in a tude, right? Anyway, they do have now four versions. So of course the flagship is their Budgie. They also have a Gnome version. They have a Mate version and a Plasma version is their brand new one. So in general, just some basic defaults up to the absolute latest Brand new LibreOffice, new Firefox, new Thunderbird. They also have newer versions of all of the different various desktop environments uh, with, um, with Budgie, Gnome, and Mate. They have Rhythmbox as that integrates well with some of the, the Gnome components. The more modern things like for the Budgie, they'll have a nice new uh, plug-in to control the audio player on the uh, Raven menu there. Uh, the Budgie and Gnome ship with Gnome MPV for video playback. Mate has VLC and Plasma has Elsia for audio and SM Player for video playback. So SM Player has been coming up a little bit more uh, recently. I've seen a little bit more. Some people are looking at SM Player in uh, in as a replacement for VLC as it uh, VLC does seem to be getting a lot of bloat in its more current versions still pretty good uh, I still install it on things just as a fallback for other things I usually use Kodi or a few other ones but SM Player is one that has been talked about quite a bit so the fact that they're starting to include SM Player for the, at least the Plasma version is pretty cool we do have the latest kernel uh, version 5.4.12 has some of the latest support for the newest hardware. So if you are looking for a good solid rolling distro with the latest hardware, Solace is probably going to be a pretty good bet for you. It does support all of your latest graphics and things like that. Uh, there's a few other items in here, uh, FFM Play, MPEG and GStreamer, latest versions 4.2.2 on FFmpeg and GStreamer 1.16.2. System D is, is newer, so uh, some of you might be saying, ah, that's okay. All right. Anyway, a few other little odds and ends, and then there's a few specific items down to each of the desktop um, environments down here. Let's go on down to the Plasma. So this is again the first edition of of Budgie, or excuse me, of Solace that is coming with Plasma. And so here we are looking at uh, this one here. So we have the Plasma Desktop 5.17, which is the latest of the Plasma as it is just released. KDE Frameworks 5.66. KDE Applications 19.12, QT uh, 5.13. So we have um, a very nice theming overall. And I think uh, rather than flipping through all of this, uh, there are several different applications here. And uh, let's just go ahead and uh, dive on over to the desktop view. So over here on the desktop, and I didn't do anything to this, I don't believe. Um, but uh, when we first get it booted up here, this is the nice view that we have. They do not give us our basic desktop icons. That is possible, but um, they're not doing that. I do kind of want to do a tutorial about how to add uh, how to add desktop icons onto Plasma, as I have seen Plasma uh, be a, a more resurgence in the last few months. Plasma, I've noticed, has been getting some, some resurgence uh, more people using it, more people steering towards it. Uh, maybe it doesn't help that I think this is the one uh, Plasma is uh, what Chris Tice runs, right? So anyway, uh, that's kind of cool. But uh, I always like this this desktop environment. Out of the box, I, I really do enjoy the theming. It may not be everybody's favorite theming, but you can see it is kind of reminiscent of the theming that I just recently built for Cinnamon. Has these light transparencies, uh, just very nice, uh, nice views, nice overall looks. And out of the box, I mean, this is it. I mean, we are already configured with a very well-configured clock. Uh, we have the calendars down here. I'm not sure why the volume is sitting here saying it's all muted there. Okay, never mind. I just didn't adjust that. 
I thought I thought I'd already tried doing that, but maybe I didn't. I I did the budgie first, and so I might have mixed myself up on something here. Anyway, uh, we do have a nice show desktop set down over here. Let's see what kind of show desktop that is. Is that the the Apple version or is that the Windows version? Of course, Apple version throws everything kind of out of the way. The Windows version minimizes everything. I always prefer the window uh, Windows version of that. So let's see which one we happen to have. And so if we click one, so that's actually set up configured to be the Mac version of Show the Desktop, which I actually hate. But hey, it's Plasma, so if you kind of right click and hit your Show Alternatives, then we have the Minimize All Window. Hey, look at that. Now we're all set up. So let's go ahead and load both those guys up, and we'll have a look at what this looks like. All right, so now we have two items here. Hit this, pull one of them back up, and we only get the one. Hey, that's why I love Plasma. So easy to make those adjustments. Again, we just kind of right-click over here, hit Show Alternatives, and anything that there is an alternative for, you can go ahead and set it up in the system. So, of course, there are alternatives to the menu. This is my favorite menu when I'm running Plasma, but there are actually alternative menus. If you see your show alternatives, we have an application dashboard and a menu. Dashboard is going to be a little bit more like a Mac, full screen overlay, all of your applications. Kind of a neat hybrid between like a GNOME and, a, uh, and like a Windows or something. I'll kind of show you what that looks like there. Okay, so if we... Uh, click in on our menu now. Let's make sure we're all set up here. There we go. That's what we look like. So of course, recent applications, all applications of a nice list. Graphics, we have our favorites over here. We have our shutdown menu over here. So very cool, very nice. Let's go ahead and back to our show alternatives, switch back to our launcher, and your menu is very much like uh, an older older style menu. Favorites on the side, simple categories, uh, nice and easy to use. As far as applications that we have on default, we do have just the LibreOffice drawing. We have an image viewer and a document viewer, so no GIMP or Krita. We do have KDE Connect, so if you have an Android device, you can connect to it. There's Conversation. Here is Thunderbird. We have uh, SMS, I believe, which is part of the KDE Connect. I've not done Android app, uh, connections onto this for quite a long time, so I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll play with that sometime. We have Firefox installed. There are Multimedia. We have SM Player, MPV, and Elsa. So... Not sure why we, we have MPV and SM Player. The MPV was the one that was specifically put on for GNOME and things, so not sure why we have all those. Oh, I did install Evolution. Uh, that was something I was experimenting with. So Evolution has not come pre-installed. I installed it directly from the software repositories. We do have, again, the latest version of LibreOffice. It does have the spelling checker. It does not have the synonym checker uh, plugin installed by default, so keep aware of that. Here's just your basic... Uh, settings and things and under our system settings let's have a look at what our memory usage happens to be like all right system load here it looks like we're running on uh under 500 megabytes of ram so that's actually cool 480 megabytes of ram so that's actually pretty nice as far as our software manager uh we do have the Solace software manager on here. We do not have Discover, which is probably good because Discover is probably my my least favorite of your uh, stock um, software managers. We can click down over here, see what updates that we have on the system. There are some updates here. Here's the list of installed packages. So if you wanted to do anything with anything that is installed, here's some third-party items. So if you wanted to install Flash Player or Google Chrome, there's the Google Chrome, Google Chrome Beta, Google Chrome, Chrome Dev, Android Studio. If you're into doing Android development, I do get asked a lot, you know, what should you use for development? Well, really any Linux distro is going to be very similar, but something that will allow you to have a single click install of Android Studio would be very nice if you're doing Android applications specifically. So this could be a, uh, a good option. And all of your budgies are going to have, or excuse me, I'm going to keep saying that, aren't I? All of your solaces are going to have that. You can see we have a variety of other other third-party applications. Now, these are listed over here because these are more of your 
uh, more of your proprietary things that you're not going to find inside of your standard Linux repos. But it's very nice to have the single click option to to view these. I'm not sure if these are, let's see if I, I wonder if I can click on those and see where they're installing from. Not sure where exactly these are installing from. We do have Snap support built into the system out of the box for those that do like Snap. Uh, however, they are not uh, doing anything. So let's just do a Snap list and it will tell you there are no Snaps. Uh, installed. So my guess is some of those third parties are probably snaps. I don't know for sure. Uh, I believe Solace does have snap and flat pack um, support. So out of the box. So there is pretty much in a nutshell what our uh, Solace Plasma is going to look like. And uh, to tip my hand here, I think what we might actually do is uh, this week for our Distro Wars, we might pin software uh solace plasma against uh neon i think that'd be a really cool uh distro wars to do so be looking forward to that most likely on wednesday with our usual distro wars stream i'd like to pin these two against each other um as again you can see all of the the latest everything it doesn't specifically tell us our kernel there let's just go back into the the terminal and show you that the kernel is indeed 4.4.12 so that's what we have there. Uh, a couple of little maybe criticisms or I don't know if it's compliments or criticisms. I did have online accounts on here by default. I did have a problem that like I put the only accounts you have the option to install is a NextCloud and a Google. Well, an own cloud and a Google. So own cloud, next cloud are generally cross compatible. I connected my personal own cloud to it. The only thing we have as an option to sync is your uh, contacts but there's no tools to connect with your contacts i didn't try installing like k address book and see if that automatically connects but then i found an immediate problem and that's that once i added something to the uh, to the online accounts there's actually no way to delete them i actually had to go into the system folders and delete the database files of the online accounts really weird and i'm not sure if that's a limitation to plasma or if that's a limitation to they missed a package because it is a complicated thing to get online accounts working with plasma so it's uh it's interesting to me that you can add online accounts but you can't delete them that just seems a little bit weird to me but anyway it uh it is what it is of course here is our plasma settings you can see that we do have custom themes we do have the basic plasma themes that you always find but we do have some theming set up already for us and honestly i think that the theming here is really good uh this is actually one of the better implementations of Plasma that I've seen with this particular Solace theme. Not sure why we're not using the Solace icons. Let's see what that might look like. Maybe we already are and it just didn't think we were. Oh, well, maybe that might be why is we don't actually have icons for, <laughs> for our categories and things. Let's go back to Breeze Dark. You can see come over here. So maybe maybe the, we have the Solace icons available to use, but we're not using them maybe because they don't have the, cata the category set for them yet. I don't know. That's uh, whatever that happens to be worth. Just the basic breeze cursors, nothing special there. Here's your account details. Again, your online accounts are down here, which I had issues with. Um, it does work out of the box on full screen without doing uh, guest editions for those wanting to test it out in virtual machine. But uh, I think that's actually enough for now. So that is my very brief look at Solus 4.1 Plasma. Now, I did test Steam on the Budgie version of Solus already. Once again, I just cannot get that stupid supposedly native Linux Steam game to run. This is probably why I just don't play video games at all. Uh, I'm just testing it out on different machines and see if something gets it to run. Eh, not this one. <laughs> not this one indeed. Uh, but anyway, uh, with all that said, I, I do like the Solace build. It's just a nice, clean, uh, ground-up Linux distribution. It's not based on anything else. And so definitely Solace is worth using. So with all that being said, let me know your thoughts on this brand new version of Solus 4.1 Plasma. Have you tested it out? What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments down below.